Hey guys, how's it going today? Welcome to thepixellab.net. Today I want to talk to you about cameras and a couple little tips that will help you out with your camera. Let's go ahead and throw a camera in the scene and turn it on. Now if we want to rotate around this cube, let's go ahead and make a keyframe on the camera and go to uh, one second in and try to rotate around it. We can kind of rotate around it and make another keyframe, but when we do our animation and we hit play, we get some kind of weird stuff going on. Well, one little trick that I learned a while ago uh, is to put your camera in a null all the time. If you're a beginner in Cinema 4D or After Effects, um, this isn't going to make too much sense to you, but trust me when I say that putting your camera in a null is going to give you a lot more flexibility. It doesn't seem super intuitive at first because you have two things that you have to worry about now. Um, but it really does give you a lot more flexibility and a lot of the people who have been doing this a long time use a camera inside of a null. Now what we can do with the null, because it's placed uh, right in the center of this cube, is let's go ahead and make a keyframe on the null and go to 30. And now all we have to do is rotate the null. And we'll just rotate it a little bit and then make another keyframe. And now you can see that we're getting a perfect circle around this cube with our camera. And because it's attached to the null, the camera is actually going in a nice wide arc around this square. Uh, you can do this with a target camera as well, but I really like using the null. So now we can animate stuff on the camera, like the, the pitch and rotation and banking, but we can also rotate the null and uh, even move the position of the null and get a lot of uh, control over our camera. So you can kind of think of the null as the axis point where the camera is uh, kind of rotating around. And um, that just gives you a ton of flexibility. So I wanted to show you this in After Effects because I went a long time in After Effects before realizing you could do this very simply. So what I have here is a bunch of mountains in the background. If we go ahead and look at this, this mountain is just a flat plane. But when you get a whole bunch of them and they're staggered in Z space in different, uh, different depths, you get some really nice depth to your After Effects scene. And if you kind of use subtle camera animations, you get this really nice parallaxing effect, right? So this is kind of a cool little setup. Uh, but the problem with this is, look, look at it as I rotate. You can see that uh, it's very hard if I want to keep my picture of me in the foreground and kind of rotate around that. Right now I'm rotating around somewhere in the background and it's really hard to control the camera movement that I want. Well, let's go ahead and go to our top view here and zoom out a little bit. Now if we go ahead and find the picture of me, which is this one right here, you can see that here's the photo and right here is the camera and let's go ahead and click on the camera. Now this little target right here is basically the anchor point of the camera and where it's going to rotate around. And let's go ahead and twirl down the camera properties. And if we move this, you can see that the point of interest sliders down here are moving. So this is called the point of interest. Now the thing is you can move the point of interest here and animate it, but it's going to be very tricky to get this correct unless you go to the top view and just move this guy to where you want the camera to pivot around. So let's go ahead and go back to our photo. This is the photo right here. Go to the camera and move this somewhere right on top of that photo. Now let's go back to our active camera and we'll zoom in here a little bit. You can see that I messed it up a little bit, but that's okay. We can just move it up. And now if we go to our rotate, you can see that everything is rotating around uh, that image of me. Now this doesn't look super realistic because um, it looks like my picture is not even moving at all. So let's go to the top view and let's take that pivot point and let's move it just a little bit in front of my picture so that there is a little bit of motion uh, on that photo. And let's find it again, zoom in here. And now if we rotate around, there's a little bit of motion, but uh, it's a lot easier to control uh, the rotation around my photo. And we can go ahead and animate that a lot easier than if the anchor point was way back in the background. So that is kind of the way that you would approach this in After Effects, uh, just thinking about that rotation point on the camera and how easy it is to move that by going to the top view and moving that point directly to uh, where you want to rotate around. So if you're a beginner in After Effects or Cinema 4D, these tips should help you uh, have a little bit less of a headache when you're uh, working with camera movements and setting them up. So I hope that helps, guys. Uh, just a couple tips to think about. Thanks for checking out thepixelab.net. We'll talk again next time. Bye.